Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Tullwalker. A cube with an edge length of three is stacked with a cube with an edge length of two and a cube with an edge length of one as shown where two of their faces are aligned. Imagine drawing a line between opposite corners in this diagram. The question is what is the length of the line contained inside the middle cube? This was suggested to me by email, and it came from the source d-quant. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We will solve the problem using similar triangles and separately solve it using coordinate geometry. Let's get started with similar triangles. First, we'll consider this right triangle. We'll calculate the length of the shorter leg as follows. The shorter leg is the diagonal of a square whose side length is equal to three. Therefore, the shorter leg has a length equal to three times the square root of two. The longer leg will have a length that consists of lengths of three 2, and 1, so its entire length will be equal to 6. We want to calculate the portion of the hypotenuse that's opposite this 2. In order to do that, we'll calculate the entire hypotenuse length using the Gogu theorem. We substitute in the values, and then we calculate and simplify that the hypotenuse has a length equal to 3 times the square root of 6. Now, we have three similar right triangles. As such, the hypotenuse will be divided into a ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. Therefore, 3 times the square root of 6 will be equal to x plus 2x plus 3x, which means it will be equal to 6x. Consequently, we divide both sides by 3 to get that 2x is equal to the square root of 6, and that's the answer. Let's now solve the problem using coordinate geometry. First, we will set up a coordinate system as follows. Since the bottom cube has an edge length equal to 3, we can label one corner as the point P with coordinates 3, 3, and 0. The other corner we will label with the point Q, and it will have a coordinate of 0, 0, 6. We will first describe the vector PQ that goes from the point P to the point Q by subtracting the relevant points. We get that PQ is equal to negative 3, negative 3, and 6. We can then describe a parametric equation for the line going through PQ by adding the point P plus T times the vector PQ. We then add coordinate by coordinate to get the following equation. We want to figure out the portion that's contained entirely inside the middle cube. Notice the intersection of this line with the plane Z is equal to three will give us one endpoint of this line segment. If z is equal to 3, that means 6t is equal to 3. Consequently, t is equal to 0.5, and the point we're looking for will be equal to 1.5, 1.5, and 3. We then want to find the intersection of this line with the plane z is equal to 5. This means 6t is equal to 5, which means t is equal to 5 over 6. We substitute into the equation for the line, and we get the point 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 5. We now can solve for the length of this line segment by using the distance formula. We substitute in the coordinates, and then we simplify. It'll be equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared, and this simplifies to be the square root of 6. And once again, we get the same answer. It's a pretty neat problem for three-dimensional geometry. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.